we just gonna be getting our life together just figuring shit out i know your girl is a scrub girly now i be forgetting this ain't no ken g7x no more <laughs> this this just be a little heavy i fell in love we about to spend 70 dollars on one battery i didn't been in a predicament where i really have not had it I'm interested in getting a while in Morning cousins, welcome, welcome back to another vlog, babe. Y'all ignore this ladder in the back because I got stuff in my car because y'all know, baby. We we in the process of moving. Okay. Good morning, good morning, y'all. So as y'all see by the title, or if y'all don't see by the title, depending on what our name is. Today is just going to be a, a day in the life of a girl in her 20s, just figuring her life out and getting her life together. Okay. If you've been here for a while, then you probably know I'm 23. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> For her. I always have to add it in there, but I'm getting my life together. I don't have it all figured out. So yeah, that's just what we're gonna be doing today. Let me kind of let y'all in and kind of catch y'all up today. And by the way, if you're new, my name is K or KK, whichever one you prefer. And if you return it, what's up, cousin? What it do, baby? So let me kind of catch y'all up to speed. Your girl worked last night. Today is Saturday. Your girl worked last night. I did not make it home till five this morning. I got back up at nine. I kind of had like a slow morning though. I got up at nine. I took me a shower because I didn't shower last night when I got off because I was just too freaking tired. It's 10 10 a.m. and we are headed to go tour two apartments. So I ended up touring this. Um, I ended up touring this apartment yesterday, y'all, and I fell in love. Okay, I literally loved it. And then they were having like such a good special that I could get money off every month. So the price range is immaculate for me. I feel like it's gonna be great for our content. Like, baby, it's just gonna go through the roof. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited about that. I did want to um, keep my options open just because of the fact that you can't always bank on everything, even though. I I know that's my new home. You still want to weigh your options and have your options open and see what else is out there. So I'm going to go tour these um, two other properties that I had looked at that I really love. I'm gonna um, take y'all with me and show y'all these today. They're more of like the um, like the lighter foundation, and when I say lighter, like I mean like light cabinets and stuff like that. Because y'all, I'm just honestly, I'm not a fan of the dark cabinets no more. I feel like I've done the dark cabinets for two apartments, really three apartments straight, and I'm just I'm not really a fan no more. You get what I'm saying? Not saying I'm completely against it. If that's what I have to do, I have to do that but as far as like what i want i would prefer gray or white really white but gray is always you know in there i just i want more of a light scenery you get what i'm saying so yeah yeah so we're gonna be headed to tour two apartments today y'all i am just a little dehydrated i wouldn't say hungover i'm more dehydrated than anything because i did drink at my job last night because it was just lit everybody was turning so it was all like drinking taking shots or whatever so i did drink last night and i drank brown i did not drink clear so that's another thing i am about to head to smoothie king and give me a smoothie before we get our day started that way i can get some in my system that's kind of like good for you girl you know yeah i already know what a smoothie king get because baby this is my original side of town you know what i'm saying before i moved to dallas i hit one of my homegirls up to see if she wanted to work out today and just do like an editing session today and see if she's want to get together and edit i don't know what she has planned today so i don't know if that's gonna follow through or not if not we'll go edit and um i may or may not go to the gym it just really depends y'all because my knee been hurting is it, that's one of the reasons why i want to go to the gym because i like my knee been hurting and baby I'm too young baby i'm too young even though i know why it's hurting because last night i hit it on the table last night and oh we baby that just is oh that's pretty much the agenda for today we just gonna be getting our life together just figuring sh out you know i need to apply at the apartments that i do yesterday if um those are the ones that i decide to go with after touring these two properties so yeah let's head to smoothie king though we got a long little drive y'all because y'all know um i'm gonna stay on the side of town that i was on so i got like a 40 minute drive i've been listening to my gospel this morning i was listening to my gospel last night y'all i was on my way it's so funny because i was on my way home from um from work last night and one of my co-workers she need to ride home and i mean like i get it you know what i'm saying like you have a car problems and can't get your car fixed right now you know so i had to drop one of my co-workers up at home and I knew I needed gas because y'all had like 60 miles, but I had to like come, which it wasn't far for me to go home. It was like 20 minutes, but I was like, man, I'd rather just like get gas tonight. That way I ain't got to gas up in the morning. And so I was just like, okay, my coworker with me, like, let me just, you know, stop at this gas. So we had stopped at this gas station and got some gas, y'all. And um, this lady had came up to me and she was like, hey, ma'am, like, I'm really on hard times. I'm just trying to get some gas to make it home. Woo, 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 woo. And it just really like warmed my heart that I was able to like, 
give her gas, you know, because I didn't been in a predicament where I really have not had it. You know what I'm saying? I've been in a predicament where I really have not had nothing. And I'm like, dang, how I'm going to get through this? Or how I'm going to figure this out? You know, like, I really have been on hard times before. So, and it's a whole different ball game when you actually, actually experience hard times. It's one thing when you help people that are in need. And you just helping out out of the goodness of your heart, but when you didn't actually like been there, and it's like, man, like I didn't actually been in your shoes before, sis. So it don't matter what you do with this with this money that I'm giving you. I just know I'm giving it to you out of the rightness, you know, the righteousness of my heart. And so it just really felt so good last night. She was like, man, God bless you for real. Like you don't know what you're doing for me. And it was just like I felt really good about it because I'm like you could tell she really needed it. And so she was offering to pump my gas stuff. I was like, girl, no, nah, I'm not gonna make you pump my gas. Then it was like 30 degrees outside. I was like, nah, baby, I'm not gonna make you pump my gas. Like, no, baby, you do what you need to do and get where you going. You get what I'm saying? Like, a blessing for me is to be a blessing to others. Like I was telling my coworker last night, like I don't even mean to put her business out there like that. But I mean, y'all don't know her, you know what I'm saying? But you know, she was trying to give me gas money. I was like, girl, and me being a blessing to you, the only thing I would want you to do is to get on your feet you know what i'm saying like get your car fixed like i was gonna have to gas up anyway because i gotta drive you know i gotta um like i got a ways to go you know what i'm saying because i'm at my mom's right now but and it's so crazy because like i'm the kind of person where it's like i don't expect you to like pay me back or oh i gave you this so give it back to me if i ever fall on hard times or if i'm ever slacking can i call on you you know like that's my mentality and how i look at it it's not like okay well I gave you $30, I gave you $40, you know, pay me back type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, like, if you deep in the hole with a bad bizzle, then, you know, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> you know, but um, for the most part, I mean, it's just like, you know, just like, watch out for me the way I look out for you. That's all I ask. Just look out for a sister the way I look out for you. If I needed something and I forgot my wallet at home, I just didn't have it. And you had it. Would you, would you spare a sister or what? So, yeah. That just feel really good, y'all. I'm just really, like, in a very, very good place in my life right now. Even though it's a lot going on. I'm talking about a lot of chaos, baby. Because it's a lot of chaos going on. Like I was saying, oh my gosh, they done made a new... I ain't been on this side of town in so freaking long, y'all. I'm going to take my glasses off so y'all can see me a little bit. This is crazy to me, though. Anywho, it just felt like... It felt really good. Um, It, it just feels really good because I always tell people, you know... I and mean, this is not to get on here and, like, preach out your offer or nothing like that. But I don't mind telling the things that I go through I may not tell it right when I'm going through it because it's like I'm going through it and, and just in all honesty like y'all are not going to witness the things that I go through when I go through it because like YouTube timing by the time I've been edited child it'd be weeks later you know I've been there did that XYZ yada yada I love getting on here like sharing my testimonies and the things that I witness or the things that I'm able to do or the things I'm able to accomplish because I know somebody else is going to be better off because of that and that's my whole thing about it you get what I'm saying like like, life is good i really can't complain it's just a new era it's a new you know and i'm blessed to be able to have that everybody can't say they was able to start over everybody can't say they was able to get that second chance you know what i'm saying like god woke me up this morning baby it's time to go get it it's time to get to it you get what i'm saying so yeah that's just my little you know i just want to share it with y'all but y'all let me freaking tell y'all the interior designer i'm gonna say the interior designer because i'm about to say the interior decorator but no the interior designer of the apartments i went in toward yesterday i don't know if it was a man or woman y'all i'm going the wrong way i really like I, and i honestly i really believe i'm going around this way this is what i get for thinking that i know where i'm at because it used to be over there with my old job i'm tripping i'm definitely going the wrong way I'm gonna just make you turn down here. Anywho, child, like I was saying, the interior designer, y'all, from yesterday, she really needs, like, excuse my language, but sus see her coochie ate. Like, I'm talking about top to bottom for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm talking about in the best way possible because the way the finishes, God bless that sister or that meal, whoever that was. I'm talking about, y'all, the interior looks so freaking good. I'm not even just gassing it. Y'all know, like, when you, like, oh, about to drop my camera. Y'all know, like, when you tour an apartment or you tour a home or whatever and it's just like okay well they did they big one on the finishes in this room or this area at home like i love the kitchen and the bathroom but the bedroom i don't know what they was thinking or the closet i don't know what they was thinking it's just like the whole apartment she or he they ate down the whole apartment they ate down like i cannot make this up y'all 
they ate down the whole freaking apartment they ate down i'm like what some apartments you'll go to and it'll be like silver finishes in the bathroom but gold finishes in the kitchen it's like why would you do that why you just couldn't you get what I'm y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So it's just like why you couldn't get right the whole way around? Why you had to why you had to do that? I don't get it. But anywho, child. This is like my little rant that I want to get on here and kinda like, you know, update y'all with. I'm about to put some music on y'all. I was listening to my gospel last night and it felt really good. I was listening to my gospel when I dropped my home girl off. And not that I wouldn't have been listening to my gospel while she was in the car. We was just talking and having conversations, so I didn't want to be rude. This morning I woke up, I took me a hot shower. I was moving a little slow this morning because you know when you dehydrated from drinking the night before not really I, I don't know if dehydration is a part of hangover maybe it is but um, I didn't have like no headache or nothing I was just moving and I wasn't like lightheaded I was more so just dehydrated so I got me some water but I don't really think water like just hydrates you a thousand percent even though this has electrolytes in it so it's good water for you um, I'm gonna just get smoothie king something I know that'll put some hydration in me I got a question though. Okay. What happened? So I told them, I told Bailey yesterday that. Hold on. Let me order. I'm at Smoothie King. Hold on. Hi. Um. Let me do a. Um. Let me do a lemon twist strawberry. A 20 ounce. No, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, I told Bailey it was my last day, and then I told Todd too. I mean, Todd had asked me about it. But why am I? I like I can't get into high school just no more. My account suspended. I don't even know if I work still tomorrow. Uh, yeah, see if I'm on a schedule for Sunday. That's f up. I wouldn't have never told them if they was gonna do that. Right, yes. I got Apple Pay. Do you need your receipt today? No, I don't. And that's what I be talking about. That's why I don't tell y'all nothing. Because they pick and choose when they want to play with your schedule. Y'all don't give me a two weeks notice when y'all about to fire somebody, do y'all? Oh, this is so good, y'all. Come on. Okay, y'all. So, we have made it to the first destination the first apartment tour so we about to go inside i don't even know if they had accepted my time slot but we about to see this is nice this is my favorite one yeah i like this layout this is the coral this is nice so we do have two color schemes this is going to be the gray cabinets the white granite countertops and then this white backsplash nice Okay, then this will be the pantry, huh? Mm -hmm. And then I can also show you what that looks like. And then help yourself to anything in there. Do you have a preference on which floor you want to stay on? Good morning, cousins. Good morning, good morning. 
<laughs> Y'all, so today is a new day. Now today is a Monday, I believe. Finally, your girl is catching a break. Child, we got a whole lot to get done today. Today is a Monday. It is February 19th. As y'all can see, it's 9.33 a.m. Just to kind of like catch y'all back up to speed. I have been just working, working, working. Okay. Or I've just been busy. Like, I've been trying to make the best of my days. So, I got to do like some cleaning, y'all. Because, just show y'all real quick. So, I just got clothes all over the bed. I'm going to just leave this how it is. That bag of clothes. And then I'm going to leave that stuff in the corner how it is. But, I do need to do something with my bed. And just kind of organize over here again. Like, close this. Put that bag on top of there. Put that back in the closet and stuff like that so as y'all know your girl's moving soon so i'm not really going to be unpacking because i'm moving soon so i just really been taking out like the things that i need and and stuff like that we're gonna straighten up the bed and get all this stuff like hung up and put out the way and then i got a lot of clothes in the washer right now so by the time that finished washing i put it in the dryer y'all we have to go to the bank because i did open up i'm about to sit y'all down because holding y'all just not the move baby i be forgetting this ain't no kenny g7x no more <laughs> this this just be a little heavy <laughs> and i get reminded real quick yeah, so I need to go to the bank, y'all, because I did open up a new bank account. And basically, the whole point of me opening up this bank account is for me to have an actual account where all my money goes, but no money comes out. I've just been trying to figure out the best, like, financial situation for me because, like, you know, of course, you'll try different things. They don't work. And it's like, okay, well, we got to get, like, this saving and, you know, separating our money thing together. Something that I am going to try that I think is going to work for me is I'm going to have all my money go to one account but nothing's being taken out of the account and just basically take that money and disperse it into another account where my bills are coming out of and then have that account as like a savings account you get what i'm saying i'm gonna have two different i'm gonna have two separate banks i'm gonna just sell money or just transfer money to this other bank when um it's time for me to pay bills or just put my bill money for the month in this bank account um, that I already have. And then this new bank account that I'm setting up is just where all my money is going to be going to just like sit as savings, you know? Oh, that makes sense. We need to go to Scrub and Beyond. That's the place that my homegirl was telling me about to get like some scrubs. We're gonna go to Scrub and Beyond because y'all know I start my new job tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. Yesterday was my last day at my other job, which I was so freaking excited about. Y'all, I never have to go back to that job again. And it just like... <laughs> I love that for me. Also, I need to call the apartments that I'm moving into where I'm going to be living. I'm so excited. I'm already like speaking it, claiming it. Like I know everything is going to work out in my favor and everything is going to be everything. Okay. I need to submit like my pay stubs and bank statements. Well, first of all, I need to do the application and submit everything. But also, I need to get my new job that I'm starting tomorrow to send them an offer letter. Well, I'm going to still be working a second job, but... I'm not going to be working a third job no more, but I'm going to still send the stubs over because, baby, I need to look like I'm working three jobs because three times the rent, I, yeah, I need that, okay? So, yeah, let's go ahead and start getting everything cleaned up as far as, like, the bed, making up our bed and, you know, stuff like that. And then we're going to actually get into the getting to. We have made it to the car, y'all. I have went ahead and took my um, shower, went ahead and just got ready for the day. Y'all, I've been loving the hats lately because I feel like when I just got a lot going on, a lot of stuff to do, I just throw a hat on real quick. We are about to head to Best Buy because your girl need another battery. Like, y'all, literally this battery is, which this battery is really good. Don't get me wrong because it lasts, y'all. Like, this battery will literally last me a couple of days because I've never just, like, vlogged the whole entire day. I probably vlog, like, here and there throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? But that's always how I've vlogged. I'm never, like, vlogging the full entire day. When I put vlogs together, y'all, it's, like, days worth of content, not, like, one full day's worth of content. So yeah, it's never like a full day worth of content. So I'm able to like save and preserve my battery that way. Now the Kennedy 7X, the batteries was just ass, which is going to be honest. But I do need a new battery for this camera because we have a lot of things we need to get done today. And I am going to be um like vlogging the whole day. So it's just like, I want to get a second battery. I was going to try to order one off Amazon and it get here today. But it kept telling me it wasn't going to get here till Saturday, baby. It's Monday. We, we need a battery ASAP. And then I was going to get one from Walmart, y'all, because Walmart had a two pack for $49. Y'all won't believe what I'm about to go to Amazon and pay for one battery. Like, y'all just won't even... Y'all probably couldn't even fathom. <laughs> well, y'all probably could, but, you know, I'm just extra. But, we about to go to um Best Buy, y'all, and 
we about to spend seventy dollars on one battery. Well, not seventy, anywhere from like sixty to seventy, but that's still expensive for one battery. When I can go on Amazon and get one for fifty dollars for two, and Amazon batteries are cheap. They're like forty, no, they're like twenty some thirty dollars. But the thing is, with Amazon batteries, I'm kind of just wanting to stay away from them if they're not Canon brand. Now they had some on there that were Canon brand that was a two pack for fifty dollars, which is the prices Walmart had. But Walmart kept saying that they weren't available for pickup; that they could only get the batteries to you like on uh, February twenty seventh, which is just like a week from now, like a full week from now. So I'm gonna just go to Best Buy and buy it because I know the battery is gonna be a good battery. It's gonna last. It's not gonna take forever to charge for one, and for two, it's not gonna be on for thirty minutes and the battery did. So it's just like you get your money's worth in the end, but still, like that's a pretty penny. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where Best Buy is, y'all. I'm just going to put my maps on. Because me trying to remember is crazy. So, I'm in here trying to find another battery for my um, Canon R50. Mm -hmm. And what's the difference between these two? Uh, are you vlogging right now? I am. Okay, y'all. So, oh, I'm about to ask them another question about a wide lens. But um, I'm interested in getting a wide lens. But, y'all, I did find the battery that I needed, which was the EP... Um, the LP E17. This is the exact battery that I have in my camera now. So I know it's going to be a good battery because it already like this one works really good. So I know this one is going to be a game changer. So I'm going to get this one. And this is the $60 one. Like that's crazy. But we're going to do it. Don't get it y'all. But I do want to look at a wild lens because I'm curious. Y'all so I'm in here and I'm looking at scrubs. We are at scrub and beyond. And I think I'm going to get one set today. I don't know if I'm going to get one or two. But I'm definitely going to get a black set. I need some cute little scrubs. They're going to be like oh look at Kay and hella scrubs. Yeah baby look at me. And where do you work at orthopedics? R-Y. It's in there. So you should save a little bit of money. Really? Yeah, usually mm -hmm. the facilities in there, um, you can save the very, very minimum 10%. Okay. I mean, they're reimbursing me anyway. Oh, I did save some. Yep, you saved $5.90. Mm -hmm. It's going to be $57.46. There you go. Thank you. All right. And if you take this survey at the bottom of your receipt, you'll be entered into a $500 Scrubs and Beyond gift card contest. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, You're welcome. Enjoy. You too. Y'all, we about to go get something to eat, y'all. Y'all know your girl. You gotta eat. You gotta be fed. If nothing else, I gotta be fed, babes. Y'all, so your girl's at UPS, and I really need to run in here and give them this AT&T box so I can turn this in, because I got till March 4th to do it, and today's the 19th, so I'm just like, baby, I might as well go ahead and get it done, so. Good morning, cousins. Good morning, good morning, y'all. Your girl did not film a lot last night. I didn't really do too much last night, honestly, but I'm up this morning. I just got ready for work. Y'all know your girl is a scrub girly now, so we got our scrubs on. You see, get into it. Yeah, y'all, so your girl is a scrub girly now. I am ready for work. I was talking to my manager yesterday. I told him I needed to go to my bank to finish setting up my direct deposit because y'all know I told y'all I got a new bank, whatever. So he told me to just handle my business this morning and then let him know when I was on the way to work. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go to the bank real quick, y'all. We about to head to the bank. Yeah, we about to head to the bank and then I'm gonna go get some gas and I'm gonna go get something to eat. Okay, I'm about to head to this one. Say I'll be here at 9.13 because y'all know we need to go to the bank in this vlog anyway. Your girl's going to stop and get something to eat because I am hungry. And I'm thinking I'm probably just going to get, um, what's today? Today is Tuesday. I'm probably just thinking I'm going to get some Chick-fil-A, honestly. Hey, cousins, y'all. Please don't be mad at me, but this is the end of the vlog. Now, when I was with my mama, I had a lot going on, so please forgive me that the vlog is a little choppy, but I will see y'all soon later in the next vlog, so yeah. With all that being said, I love you so much, I appreciate you so much, and y'all already know, into the next vloggy, the biggest one, she out the cut. Mwah! Toodles! Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. Say I'm acting light-skinned. I can't take you nowhere.